Hi YouTubers, welcome back to the second part of this tutorial. Uh, in the first part of this tutorial we animated the the teeth, you no? Know? We animated the teeth using wire parameters and uh, the teeth were going along with the jaw open there. But in this part of this tutorial we want the, the tongue now to twist up a little bit. The tongue to go up like that when you open the mouth we want this tongue to raise up just a little bit just to make it a little bit more natural so let's get started first we we're going to need we're going to have to create the the mouth target for this uh, the, for the lower teeth let's copy the lower teeth there okay hold shift and drag it to your right let go say copy let's name it tongue tongue twist yeah tongue twist here we go okay let me just isolate it by holding alt and q on the keyboard like that so now we have the tongue there it's isolated now what we need to do is to select this tongue object uh, so we're going to go in the polygon mode because this this is just one single mesh but we want to select the polygons here so we just click anywhere there yeah even that and grow 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 okay that's the tank now we're playing with uh let me drag it up a little bit okay it's going up okay so rotation tool let me twist it Whoa okay W on the keyboard we drag it up okay something like that something like that you know you can feel free to to adjust it like to, to, to your liking make it perfect but uh, for the purpose of this tutorial I'm not going to spend so much time perfecting this tang here but let me just smooth smoothen it out a little bit let's go into polygon mode let's go paint deform let's go and soften there let's change the brush size okay let's just try and smoothen out smoothen it out a little bit Okay. okay you might want to take so much time on this one this is just a quick one at least you can you get the idea here the tongue is up eh? okay the tongue is up tongue is up okay now that we have that tongue up let's go out of isolation mode by clicking this uh, bulb here whatever you may call it okay so now we're going to select the the teeth, Misozi teeth here. This character is her name is Misozi. So when you select her teeth, apply the go to the modifiers here, the modify tab. In the modifier list, let's look for Mofa, Mofa modifier, Mofa, Mofa, Mofa. Where's Mofa? Here's Mofa. Yeah, sweet. So now we need this tank to go up on this object. And since we've already created this move target here that will represent the movement there we're going to right click with, with, with the teeth there selected we we'll right click on the face lot there where it's written empty right click and say pick target pick target let's go to this target the one we've modified click see it turns green showing that our target is there so now if I was to isolate these teeth here, teeth, and I drag this slider here on the mofa, wow, you can see that's a tank now moving. Anyway, after we've done that, let me go out of isolation mode. We want when the, the jaw opens like this, we want this tank to twist, to twist up and look like this one here since we have already a target on on these teeth we have a, a mofa 
and this morpher is using this target which is already raised but now we want these characters jaw opening to affect the morpher on this uh, on this tongue so what we are going to do now is go into parameters again right click on this model wire parameters modified object morpher morpher we're looking for the morpher yes here's the morpher jaw opening good so now let's pick the the teeth again the lower teeth let me put into wireframe mode i can see this is this is miss teeth you can see it's even highlighted in uh, yellow there so i'll click and once i click there there'll be this dialogue the same di the same dialogue we used when when animating the teeth to the jaw opening so now here we have jaw opening so now we want to animate the morpher we, we want this morpher here to to animate the morpher there on the teeth okay so here on the right panel let's look for the the teeth okay here we are modified object we're looking for the morpher that's why we find the morpher in the modified objects because they're modifiers okay here's the morpher now we have the tongue twist here you see so now that i've picked the tongue twist from jaw open to tongue twist yeah i'm going to click on the one-way connection so that this parameter influences the parameter on the tongue twist here on the morphers tongue twist here so i'm going to click on that and when I connect, boom, something should happen. Okay, let me go out of wireframe mode. Then the morpher is there. Let's try and open the, the jaw and see what happens. Oh, oh, you see that? The tongue is going up as well. Nice. If you feel the tongue is going up too much, you can divide that by let's say divide it by eight and we update oh oh that's too much let's divide by two update nice you see that nice we can even multiply it by two where's the multiply symbol there by two just to see what effects we we'll get oh oh see that was too much So in your case, you know, you have to take so much time to create a very nice shape there on the target so that your tongue doesn't look too messed up like mine. And uh, since, since I'm just doing this uh, as a quick test, just for you to get an idea of uh, what the arithmetics here are, and you will be able to apply these techniques uh, in almost just about anything divide by one okay divide by two update I like that one there okay that's it for this tutorial hope you've enjoyed watching this youtube video for more videos like this please don't forget to subscribe and if you've got any questions or comments please subscribe because i'll be having a bunch of new videos like this uh, both 2d and 3d so until then we'll see you